the initiative that started with three schools has now expanded to six schools. And today, you all will play an integral role in making sure not only 1,000 kids get 1,000 books, but you're going to double that impact. And now 2,000 kids will get 2,000 books, thanks to you. So again, I can give This event is so important to us because it fits right into our model of education. We love you, Diffin' Duper School, much more than we can tell. You are so Diffin' Duperous, it gives us joy to say, three cheers for Diffin' Duper School. Hooray, hooray, hooray. Yeah! Uh, I love it. I've been in this school 42 years and I wouldn't go anywhere else. It's time to go home. What side you want? This side. Okay. Uh, we're gonna do one camera right here. Eyes here. One. And so it's just a huge opportunity on a day when the president has called us all to serve, to have young professionals, young philanthropists, um, doing volunteer work here at these schools. And uh, the turnouts. I mean, it is volunteers. Yes, um, I think we've got a great turnout. We have people on every single floor, including the basement. We have an auditorium full of volunteers wrapping books. There are six schools as a part of this project, and all of them have a ton of volunteers. We've got hundreds and hundreds of volunteers across the schools. The books will go to DC Public Schools children in these six um, schools that we're working in. I'm a big fan of the DC Public Schools and the work they're doing to try to transform the school district and try to create opportunity for every kid in DC to go to a great school. I know Dr. Kaya Henderson uh, very well. We've worked together uh, in the past and anything I can do to support their work, I'm glad to do it. Okay. Great, thanks man. Thank you. Thank you so much for making such an incredible impact in six DC Ward 8 schools where about 70% of the kids can't read. Today you made a difference by wrapping books, by personalizing books, by creating 2,000 literacy packs, by painting literacy murals, and also by creating audio books. So we just want to say thank you from Chancellor Henderson and Mr. Lightning. Yeah, she already said everything I need to say. But, uh, I'm really happy to be here. I'm really happy to be back in D.C. It's one of my favorite places in the world, and I know that one of the reasons I love this place is because everybody's in it together. And uh, it's great to see so much uh, volunteerism, so much enthusiasm for the young people in this in this city. And we know these schools are turning around because of hard work by people like Dr. Henderson and all the teachers and principals all around this city. And I'm glad that you all are here to volunteer to make sure that that effort is, is, uh, is multiplied and, uh, and uh, continues to grow. So thank you so much for what you're doing. This day of service is really honoring Dr. King's legacy. And if we think about what Dr. King wanted, he wanted to provide opportunity for every person in this country, no matter what they look like, no matter what neighborhood they came from, to have an opportunity to succeed in this country. And that's what we're trying to do today. So thank you for all your hard work. We appreciate you, and uh, thank you. God bless. And one last thing, we have a high and a young philanthropist shirt from Mr. Yes. Legend. How about we close it out by saying yes we can three times. Yes we can. Yes we can. Yes we can. Thank you very much. Do I get takes or I gotta nail it the first time? <laughs> we believe you can nail it the first time. <laughs> and everybody's um, cell phones are turned to silent, right? Yes, sir. Amen, church? Amen. All right, here we go. Dr. Seuss, hooray for Diffin' Doofer Day. With some help from Jack Perlutsky and Lane Smith.